So I have a good partial training exercise here for you today. This is a partial lockout one-legged squat. I usually do these two-legged and you can really load up the bar. I use like a thousand pounds when I'm doing the two-legged one. This one, um, I guess you could say I'm going lighter. Uh, I've got six plates on either side here and uh, I'm going to be doing a one-legged squat with the other leg just kind of out to the side for balance but not really contributing to the movement. So it's all going to be one leg. It's a great way to develop single leg strength especially if you have a bit of an imbalance or you're an athlete looking to get stronger in one leg. And if you think about it, developing that power and explosiveness off that one leg is really a prime athletic kind of movement. And that's what this exercise is going to do, even more so than the regular you know, lockout squats like that. And uh, the other good thing about it is because it's uh, a relatively lighter weight and um, it's going to be a bit easier on your back than the rest of your body as far as recovery goes. So, one legged squat. I'm using the blue thing, uh, the manta ray. This kind of takes the pressure off your spine and distributes it more evenly across your back. Very good piece of equipment. Um, you can find a review of that on my site, fitstep.com, in the equipment review section. As you can see with this one, I kind of did all my reps on one leg and then switched to the other leg. You want to make sure the working leg is right on the middle of the uh, weight. You don't want it off to the side because obviously you're going to put you off balance. That one working leg, so line of pressure is going right through your uh, body, right down the middle, so your base of support is good. On the other leg, just kind of resting on your toes, almost like the top of a calf raise. So it's not really contributing to the movement, but it's balancing your body. Again, excellent exercise. We can load it up pretty good. You'll be surprised at how much you can use with it. Um, I've got six plates on here right now. My next set, I'm going to throw another plate on there, which I'll show you here next to. As I mentioned, threw another plate on. Got seven plates on either side. Um, one of the other things I forgot to mention before is that this is a great core training exercise as well. Because when you're just on one leg and you have the load on top of you, obviously there's going to be a lot of tension going through your core. It's going to really develop some great core stability and strength. Um, especially for athletics and for you know lifting heavier weights basically. You're conditioning your body to accept the heavier weights even on one limb and that's really going to develop significant core strength. thing to note here too, and you might not have noticed it as I was doing it, you want to hold your breath while you're doing the exercise. Take a deep breath, lock it in, up, down, and then let it out and take another one. If you start breathing while you're doing these exercises, you're going to destabilize your trunk, and that's going to weaken your base of support. So hold your breath briefly for this short up and down, it gives you a much more stable platform to push from. 
So that is the one-legged partial squat. <laughs>